Planning for multiple teams and maintaining alignment can be complex. We want a clear plan for what's most important to the business, where we can easily understand what teams will be working on and what they're setting out to achieve, our external deliverables and deadlines that we're working towards, and to know if there's any risk that the plan might not go to plan. At its core, Easy Agile programs aligns and empowers teams to deliver value at scale together. With Easy Agile programs, you can effortlessly scale planning and collaboration with a highly visual team of teams tool that's easy to use and seamlessly integrates with JIRA. With visualized dependencies, a complete program board in JIRA and dedicated team planning boards, planning the work of multiple teams doesn't have to be complex. Easy Agile programs will be your source of truth for the work of multiple teams during and beyond planning with the confidence of it all syncing back with JIRA. So there's no need for double handling. Let's take a look now at the program board, which will be where you'll be able to see the work of multiple teams across the increment. The program board is a single source of truth during and beyond planning. With date syncing enabled, it is always up to date. The program board view combines visibility of strategic priorities and high level business initiatives together with the work of the teams that will achieve them. Having this holistic view maintains team alignment with each other and to business outcomes. Immediately, you'll notice that the program board has all that you would expect from a safe program or art planning board, but it's a lot more powerful because it is a digital version that is seamlessly integrated with JIRA. Along the top, you can see that we have our sprints and beneath this, the program board is broken up into swim lanes. The first is the shared team feature swim lane which represents the work shared by more than one team. Each of the swim lanes beneath represent a team that belongs to the program or agile release train. These teams are agile boards in JIRA and they can be scrum or Kanban boards. We'll walk you through everything you can see here, but first it's important to also note that the issues scheduled here are native JIRA issues. In this view, we have third level issues along the top. These represent high level priorities and business initiatives that may span for more than one increment. Within the team swim lanes, we have features or epics and the option to toggle on team level issues. When setting up Easy Agile programs, it works out of the box. There is no complex configuration or double handling, so less time is spent on setting up the tool and training the teams. Some of our customers have shared They've been able to install Easy Agile programs, train teams of product managers and release train engineers, and undertake the PI planning ceremony itself within just two weeks. In preparation for planning, business stakeholders or leadership teams may wish to set high level priorities or business outcomes for the teams. Our third level hierarchy and milestones features are a key visual way to provide the teams context of what those priorities are and see how committed work relates. The third level hierarchy issues across the top here provide teams the much needed context of the bigger picture of what the business cares about and how the work they're delivering ladders up to high level priorities and outcomes. Third level issues come from a dedicated board nominated when a program is created. Features or epics can be linked to third level issues and by clicking on the third level issue we are able to filter the program board to understand which work specifically relates to that initiative. While we're on the program board, during PI planning or in preparation for an upcoming increment, we'll want to indicate milestones for relevant deliverables, deadlines or external events that we're working towards as teams. To create a new milestone on the program board or program roadmap view, click the plus milestone button. Name your milestone set a start date and an end date if you wish, then select a milestone color and hit save. Your milestones are now visible on your timeline. You can see how now we have a really visual way of having the milestones and the work of all teams represented in a single view. This helps to keep teams aligned, but also to see where they may not be aligned as well. In preparation for planning, Product managers together with stakeholders are recommended to create the features in JIRA that they'd like the teams to work on. 
In Easy Agile programs, these features are commonly represented by native JIRA epics, but we offer the flexibility to use the issue type that works for you in your configuration. To schedule features into the PI, we want to click the Edit Roadmap button. Depending on how your program is configured, the epics in this backlog will be pulled from a single JIRA board or from the team boards added to your program. If you have set up the program using a dedicated roadmap board and would like to narrow the options from the backlog to bring focus to your pre-planning, you can apply a quick filter to the backlog. This is helpful to show a subset of issues important to business owners, identify priority features, or to highlight different types of work items to ensure balance in the upcoming increment. For example, to make sure there is a balance of product features, tech debt, performance work, or bug fixes scheduled. You also have the option to search for an existing feature. To schedule work into a PI, you can simply drag and drop the feature into relevant team swim lanes or the shared team features swim lane. Changing the length of the feature will change the start and end date according to which sprint you'd like to schedule. You also have the option to create a completely new feature without leaving programs. This is helpful if you would like to plan future program increments or quarters in advance. If date syncing is enabled for your program, when features are scheduled or rescheduled in Easy Agile programs, these date changes are reflected elsewhere in JIRA. This means date changes are synchronised between Easy Agile programs, advanced roadmaps and your source issues in JIRA. The plan created for the quarter, during PI planning or otherwise, then becomes the single source of truth throughout execution as well. When features need to be rescheduled to address any blockers or conflicts, these will be auto-populated on your roadmap and auto-updated, meaning less manual work for the manager of your program or release train engineer. In Easy Agile programs, it's really easy to see dependencies or risks from the program board view and the health of these dependencies. This visual tool helps product managers, scrum masters and release train engineers to quickly identify where there is an impediment to work progressing and to remove friction between team deliverables during planning, the PI planning ceremony if we're practicing safe or once work is in flight. Programs makes dependencies more identifiable by their colour, which indicates the health of the dependency. Green means our dependency is healthy. Orange means it's at risk. Red indicates there's a conflict. And black tells us that we have an external dependency. External dependency lines represent dependencies outside of the program or agile release train, or with a past or future increment that's not in our current view. We know from customers, not all risks or dependencies exist within a single program or Agile release train. So it's really important that these are equally clear to see. If work is at risk, Easy Agile Programs helps to surface that information so that teams can be unblocked. To find out more about our dependencies, we can click the icon on the dependency line. Here we can see the dependent issues and we also have the option to delete the dependency. If we want to focus our conversations during PI planning or throughout execution during art or coach syncs, we can easily filter to see only the dependencies we need to troubleshoot so that we can unblock teams. Under the view settings menu, we can toggle on or off the dependencies we'd like to see on the program board, allowing you to easily isolate at risk or conflict dependencies by hiding healthy dependencies from view. While dependencies are a highly visual indicator of where we may need to make adjustments to committed work, so too is our scheduling conflicts feature, which we have the option to toggle on. If we are at the stage in our planning where teams have broken down committed features and have scheduled their issues into sprint columns, we have the option to turn these on so they are visible on the program board. This warning sign here means we have an issue that is scheduled outside of the time period for its parent feature or epic. To isolate the issue or issues in question, we can simply click on the feature to filter the board. To address this, we have two options that we can action directly from the program board. We can either reschedule the issue into a different sprint column through drag and drop, or reschedule the start or end date of the feature by dragging the edge. Remember, these are JIRA issues and the teams are Agile boards in JIRA. 
As you can see here, we can easily reschedule our issues to address conflicts or dependencies during but also beyond planning. This means that there's no downtime or additional work needed following planning and the teams are ready to go. The ability to filter detail like dependencies and scheduling conflicts on the program board means that the program board is a really visual and transparent way to set teams up for success, but also for release train engineers, product managers and scrum masters to help them achieve it. Not only is Easy Agile Programs and the program board a powerful tool for planning, but it's a single place that we can return to throughout execution to see how we're making progress and to maintain team alignment in a really visual way. This is in part because the program board is a highly filterable view. This might be useful during our Scrum of Scrums, art or coach syncs, where we need to see if teams have obstacles and help unblock them. Or as a product manager, we need to understand progress on committed features to decide if we need to reprioritize or change scope. We can filter our view in all of these instances to have focused conversations. In fact, Programs allows you to apply multiple filters to be able to focus your view. So if you need to isolate progress, teams, or blocked issues to raise with stakeholders, you can do that easily. From the filters menu, we can choose to apply one or more filters for dependencies, issue status, or teams. By doing so, it's very clear to see only what we need from the program board. From the program board view, we can also filter by feature or third level issue. For example, if you are a release train engineer and need to provide updates to key stakeholders on how longer term initiatives or high level business priorities are tracking, you can easily isolate this initiative and filter the program board to see how it's progressing. Seeing what's most important to the business in the same place where the work is scheduled to achieve it provides teams with the much important context of what value and outcomes they're helping to deliver. Because we're working with native JIRA issues and have date syncing enabled, we can make changes right within Easy Agile programs, with the confidence that these changes are reflected for all teams across your entire JIRA instance. This saves release train engineers, scrum masters and product managers time, as there is no need to double handle the plans made during PI planning Everything is in JIRA and ready for the team to get started. Coupled with this, our tool is easy to use and we've learned from our customers that our intuitive UI means teams can jump in and start using Easy Agile programs quickly. With a seamless JIRA integration, this means that beyond planning or the PI planning ceremony, we have the flexibility to be agile when we need to address changes along the way. The Program Board and Easy Agile programs provides the context of the bigger picture, why teams are working on what they're working on and how that relates to business outcomes and other teams. The Team Planning Board on the other hand gives teams dedicated space to break down features into stories and plan them out across the increment. It's here teams will come for their breakout sessions during PI planning. It's also here where they can access their own backlog, create and schedule existing issues into sprints and link them to features and PI objectives. The team planning board view helps teams to also understand how their work relates to the work of other teams. And it's here that they can create dependencies with other teams. With a dedicated team planning board and the visibility Easy Agile programs provides, teams are better equipped to collaborate and to work cross-functionally. Easy Agile programs is intuitive and easy to use. And given that we are creating and scheduling native JIRA issues with the confidence that what is scheduled here is reflected elsewhere in JIRA, teams are empowered to surface conflicts and dependencies during, but also beyond planning. Visibility combined with the flexibility of the tool means teams can be agile and adjust plans throughout execution in order to continue to progress the work. What we can see here is the team planning board which is where teams will come during team breakout sessions in PI planning or during execution to understand how work is progressing and to make adjustments. The sprint columns along the top are just like the program board. And for Kanban teams, these sprint columns are most helpful when it comes to identifying dependencies with other teams, to plan for estimated timeframes and to discuss potential risks. Beneath these are estimations and team capacity 
which indicate the capacity versus the estimated work to see if the team has overcommitted for that given sprint. At the top of the team planning board, we can see features that are shared with other teams or specific to this particular team. Beneath these, we've got the issues scheduled to deliver against those features. Remember, this team represents an Agile board in JIRA. The issues scheduled into sprints in Easy Agile programs are scheduled into sprints on the Agile board in JIRA. This means there is no need to double handle because everything that you see in Easy Agile programs is reflected on the JIRA backlog in real time. By having a dedicated space for their own planning, teams also have a single source of truth to understand and manage the sequencing of the work needed to deliver a feature across the increment. Easy Agile programs allows you to schedule an existing issue or to create a new one and link it to an existing feature. To schedule an existing issue, click Backlog and drag and drop the issue directly into the sprint you wish. Scheduling the issue into the sprint column this way will update the sprint field on the JIRA issue view. We can also quick create an issue from the team planning board. To link the new issue to an EPIC, we need to first click the EPIC, then create the issue. Creating an issue in this way populates both the sprint and EPIC field as we can also see the EPIC link field is now populated with the relevant EPIC. From the team planning board, we can easily reschedule an issue through drag and drop. If we reschedule an issue, these custom fields we just saw will also update with the new information. We can see from the team planning board that we have dependency lines just like the ones we saw on the program board. It's from the team planning board where we can create dependencies within and across teams to better collaborate and plan together. To create a dependency within a team, click the Create Dependencies button. This will create the dependency link type that was nominated when the program was set up. If an issue relies on another issue scheduled in a later sprint, the line will be red, which means our dependency is critical. If the dependency we have is within the same sprint, our dependency is at risk. And if we rely on an issue being completed in an earlier sprint, then our dependency is healthy and we're in good shape. When a dependency line is black, it means the dependency isn't within our current view. One reason for this is because the dependency is with another team. To see if we have a dependency with another team, Click the Teams drop-down menu. Coloured numbers next to a team name represent dependency number and health. When we turn on these teams, we can see how some of the external dependency lines change colour now that the team is in view. If there are remaining dependency lines that are external, this can mean that the dependent issue is in another program or a future or past increment, or from the team planning board, it can also mean that we have a dependency with an issue in our team backlog that we've not yet scheduled. Of course, we also want to create dependencies with another team, and we do this in the same way as shown earlier, by turning on the Create Dependency mode and clicking an issue in one team and then another team to create a cross-team dependency. What you can see here is that it's really clear where we have dependencies between teams. Of course, we'd want to address unhealthy dependencies, and we can do that directly from this view by rescheduling an issue through drag and drop. This immediately changes the health of the dependency. And if we want to focus on addressing conflict or at-risk dependencies, we can do that from the Dependencies menu by selecting which dependencies we'd like to be visible. From what we've just learned, we can see how valuable it is to surface dependencies when planning, but this isn't limited to planning. During execution, priorities or scope may change. New requirements may come in. The team planning board view empowers teams to make changes while retaining an up-to-date view of how those changes impact other teams in the program. If we're practicing safe and find ourselves here on the team planning board for our team breakout sessions, we know we can't wrap up PI planning without first setting PI objectives. And we can do that right within the team planning board in Easy Agile programs. In the top right hand corner, we can create a PI objective, inputting its name and description. And if we're following SAFE, 
We want to indicate whether the objective is committed or uncommitted and for business owners or management to assign business value to our objective during the PI planning ceremony. This is where a digital PI planning tool in Jira is so powerful again, because we can link our scheduled issues to the objectives themselves. This means it's super clear to see how scheduled work for the team links to what we're trying to achieve for the business in the increment. We can also see here that actual value can be assigned at the end of the increment to understand the actual value the team has delivered based on the outcomes achieved. The link between our scheduled work and the objective we're setting out to achieve is made even clearer when you can click on the objective and filter the team planning board to highlight the work the team is doing to support that objective. As you can see, the team is in good shape to start the work for the new increment. Before we finish up, there's one last view in Easy Agile programs, and that's the program roadmap. It's a holistic overview of all program increments scheduled on a timeline, and it's really helpful to plan future increments by scheduling features or epics. Just like on the program board, we can clearly see milestones that represent external dependencies or deliverables in a really clear way. So if you're ready to try Easy Agile programs, why not try our demo sandbox, which has the latest version of our product, or of course, to start a free trial via the Atlassian Marketplace. And if you need any more information or any help, we have our help center there with some really important information and resources, or you're welcome to reach out to us at support at easyagile.com. We look forward to hearing from you.